Hi, YouTube viewers. The full electric BMW i4 is essentially a 4 series grand coupe, 4 door lift back sedan without a tailpipe. From the curbside, it is indistinguishable from its combustion powered siblings, unlike the iX, which screams weird electric SUV. With its avant garde design, the i4 flies under the radar. The 2023 BMW i4 M50 builds on this formula, with a more powerful dual motor electric powertrain and M Sport handling. The M50 may not quite be an electric M car but with better whisper silent performance, it's possibly the best Q car in BMW's lineup. Up front, the i4 features a unique grille with the same self-healing tech found on the iX SUV. Small rock chips and scratches disappear from the glossy surface after a few warm days or a few minutes exposed to a hair dryer. Break out the measuring tape and you'll note that the i4 M50 is 0.2 inches taller than the M440i with a 0.1 inches wider front track. Barely any difference at all. That sounds simple enough, but is actually quite remarkable considering BMW has crammed an 83.9 kWh battery into the low-slung, coupe-like silhouette. The battery lives under the i4's floor, which costs it a bit of cabin space but, again, not too much. The biggest changes are 0.4 inches less headroom and 0.7 inches less legroom on the second row, and a cut to 10 cubic feet of trunk capacity due a loss of space under the load floor. Space above the floor is nearly identical and the i4 M50 retains its 40-20-40 split folding rear seat, so most owners probably wouldn't notice when loading items into the power liftback. Range and Charging The i4 even uses the same fuel door as the combustion-powered 4 Series. Look closely and you can even see the spot where the gas cap goes when filling, but instead of a filler neck, there's a combined charging system port. Connected to an 11 kilowatt AC charger, the 80.7 kWh of usable capacity is restored in around 8.25 hours. At a 200 kW DC fast charger, the battery can be rapidly charged from 10 to 80% full optimally in around 31 minutes. That charge time syncs nicely with the two years of complimentary 30 minutes charging sessions with Electrify America that BMW includes for new i4 owners. Of course, there are faster charging EVs around, but until 200 kW plus stations are much more common, the BMW's quick enough. Sadly, the i4 has no front trunk, usually a nice bonus feature on purpose-built electric vehicles, so you'll have to store the portable charging cable in the trunk. However, unlike BMW's iX SUV, the Grand Coupe's hood can be opened by the owner. Though, there's not much under there to see besides a gigantic plastic cover hiding the electric hardware, and two filler caps for wiper fluid and coolant. The M50 performance variant of the i4 comes standard with 19 inches double spoke M wheels, but my example upgrades to 20 inches wheels with staggered high performance Pirelli P0 tires, 255 over 35R20 in the front with 285 over 30R20 rears. This change affects the look of the sedan, its handling and, more importantly, the range. On the standard 19 seconds, owners can expect up to 270 miles of range per charge. With the stickier, heavier 20 inches wheels and tires, that estimate drops to 227 miles. That's still a comfortable amount of range for commuting and a bit of B-road fun. But frequent road trippers looking to roam further should consider the less powerful 282 to 301 mile i4 e drive 40 configuration. During my week of testing the i4 M50 on the 20 inches wheels, I never charged past 80%, recharged once well before empty to test charging speed, and spent most of my time in sport mode. After around 175 miles traveled in total, the trip computer reported an average of 2.6 miles per kWh used, slightly better than the EPAS converted estimate of 2.4 miles per kWh. X-Drive Electric All-Wheel Drive The i4 M50 upgrades to a dual-motor X-Drive electric all-wheel drive setup. 
powering the front axle is a 190 kilowatt motor. The rear wheels share a 230 kW unit. Total output climbs to 536 horsepower, which is a fair bit more than the E-Drive 40's 335 horsepower. The four-door coupe will scramble from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.7 seconds with its sport boost mode taking full advantage of the 586 pound-feet of instantaneous torque. 2023 BMW i4 M50 is the strong, silent type. Going from 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds looks good on paper, but the way the i4 M50 effortlessly surges forward as you roll onto the accelerator has to be experienced to truly be appreciated. It's a totally different sort of thrill ride than even the M4 Competition X Drive Coupe's 3.4 second sprint. There's no drama, no wheel spin or even much sound at all, save for the whoosh of the wind and rumble of the tires. Only pure, eye-popping acceleration as the i4 M50 rockets forward like a bullet train. Silent by default, the M50 features M-specific versions of BMW's iconic sounds. Generated sound played through the cabin speakers in concert with acceleration or deceleration. I'm usually not a fan of fake engine noise, but I found the M50's sport sound theme to be a pleasant, surprisingly engaging rendition of a futuristic combustion engine. Designed by film composer Hans Zimmer and BMW creative sound director Renzo Vidal, the system makes use of overlapping shepherd tones to create a sense of constantly rising urgency as the i4 builds speed. In addition to customizing the sound, I was also able to tweak the performance of the i4 M50 via drive and regeneration modes. The F features Eco Pro, Sport Boost, Comfort and Individual Drive modes, which are toggled directly via a dedicated physical buttons. There are also multiple regeneration modes starting with the default adaptive setting that uses the distance to the car ahead, navigation data and the battery's state of charge to determine how much region to apply every time the throttle is lifted. This should net you the most efficient energy recapture, but I found it inconsistent and, at worst, difficult to predict, not to mention jerky. I prefer to choose one of the static region modes, low, medium or high. Disable low speed creep in a menu to enable one pedal driving where the i4 can slow to a stop without touching the brake pedal, my favorite EV braking method overall. The i4 M50 also features standard M Sport physical brakes that work well in tandem with the regeneration system during dynamic driving and hard stops. The rest of the handling department is manned by the standard adaptive M suspension with electronically controlled dampers and variable sport steering. BMW's engineers have nailed the M50's driving dynamics. The EV is about 850 pounds heavier than the M440i X drive, and that weight makes itself apparent on switchbacks and serpentine mountain roads. Still, the chassis still feels well balanced. The new 48, 52 front to rear weight distribution is actually reversed relative to the slightly nose heavy M440i, which makes the steering feel lighter and more playful while retaining a nice fingertip feel. <laughs> The i4 uses, essentially, the same iDrive 8.0 software and hardware as the iX but tucks that tech into the 4 Series more conventional cockpit. That seemingly small difference makes the i4 M50 much easier to live with than its more highly designed, minimalist sibling. For starters, the i4 features many more physical buttons and knobs on its dashboard and center console. The console itself sits closer to the dash and steering wheel for an easier reach when it's time to, say, pop into sport mode, and there's less overall reliance on the touchscreen for simple tasks. There are still big, bright screens to enjoy. The i4 features the same 12.3 inches digital instrument cluster and curved 14.9 inches central touch display powered by its user-customizable iDrive software. As with the iX, I'm not a fan of the icon-heavy main menu with its grid of well over 30 little icons that can be difficult to navigate, scroll and precisely poke while driving. Thankfully, the icons can be reorganized for faster navigation and there's also a shortcut menu that can be populated with your eight most commonly used functions, accessible at any time via a swipe from the top of the screen. Alternative control methods, including BMW's physical iDrive control wheel on the center console, hey BMW hot word voice input, and search and air gestures, give the driver even more flexibility and freedom from reaching over to the screen. Take the time to set it up to your needs and iDrive 8.0 becomes fairly easy to navigate but that first week's learning curve is a steep one. One of iDrive 8.0's biggest advantages is it's always on BMW connected services and telematics data connection. This enables features like using your phone as a key, remotely monitoring the EV while charging or sending destinations to the car before hitting the road. But these advanced remote features, as well as a number of in-vehicle features like intelligent voice assistant commands, require a BMW user account and an active data subscription. Alternatively, users can take advantage of standard Android Auto and Apple CarPlay connectivity to power their maps and media with their phone. 
Both technologies support wired and wireless connectivity and feature the latest generations of their respective fast pairing tech for more seamless setup. Around the cabin, passengers will find three USB Type-C charging ports, a single USB Type-A data port for media playback or phone connections and an optional wireless phone charger at the base of the dashboard. BMW's standard suite of driver aid technologies persists here, inherited from the Gasoline 4 Series. There's standard adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, blind spot monitoring and forward collision warning with automatic city speed braking. Also standard are a rear view camera and automatic high beams. The electric i4 also adds low speed pedestrian protection external sound generation to the 4 Series bag of tricks. My example upgrades with a $700 parking assistance package that adds a surround view camera, front and rear parking distance sensors and parking assistant plus hands free parallel and perpendicular parking assistance. Additionally, the box was checked for the $1,700 driving assistance professional package, which upgrades to lane keeping steering assistance, adds a number of evasive and cross-traffic steering aid technologies and includes traffic jam steering assistant. This feature enables hands-free steering and low-speed traffic. It's a neat party trick, but considering the restrictive speed limitation, which leads to almost constantly handing control back and forth in all but the most gridlock jams, I don't think it's worth the cost of entry. The 2023 BMW i4 M50 starts at $68,295 including the $995 destination charge. That said, the BMW is also one of the priciest models in a class that includes the Tesla Model 3 performance starting around $64,190 and the $58,800 Polestar 2 with performance pack. But the slightly larger i4 somewhat justifies its higher price with a higher level of luxury, fit and finish. With options and close to fully loaded, my example arrived wearing an $84,370 price tag. Unlike the iX, the BMW i4 is not a purpose-built EV, so I expected the i4 to be full of compromises that come with cramming a big battery into an ICE platform. On the road, I was pleasantly surprised by how seamlessly and naturally the 4 Series Grand Coupe has handled the transition to full electric. The i4 M50 is now my favorite version of this 4 Series chassis, and one of the most fun electric cars I've driven this year. <laughs>